This is a video here. A cop choking an unarmed black man. It's outside a festival. Just look at it. Look, that boy tripping. Boy, we in the road. That boy tripping, see? He tripping. That boy tripping, my brother. Hey, I'm recording. That boy, that boy tripping, say my brother tripping. Brr, stop that. That boy tripping. That little bitch tripping. That little bitch tripping. That little bitch tripping. That little bitch tripping. Brr, stop that. Stop that. He dick ride. 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 Let's tell you where this is, Louisiana. Okay, last week at the Scott Budin Festival, Lieutenant Byrne Brun, rather, Lieutenant Brun Laverne of the Scott Police Department employed a carotid chokehold. Now, why would there ever be such a thing, a carotid chokehold? That on Anthony Wayne Babino Jr., Babino is not shown posing any threat to the officer. In fact, it looked scary. Looked like he had fear in his eyes, wouldn't you? Carotid chokehold. They actually call it that. It's in a book somewhere, okay? This is part of the training here, apparently, in Louisiana. If it's not, someone should be in jail already. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Babino is being represented by renowned attorney Harry M. Daniels. We know his work on this show. I don't know how these attorneys could ever take a vacation because something like this is always going on. They're always getting late night phone calls. They always have to spring into action. And attorney Harry Daniels is another one of them. Do they ever get to go with their families to Martha's Vineyard? No. They're too busy litigating cases like this. Here's a statement from Daniel's firm. This type of unwarranted and illegal behavior has no place in the city of Scott or anywhere. The attorney said in a statement sent to News One. But it's even worse when you consider that Lieutenant Laverne isn't some green recruit who got in over his head. He's a senior supervisor, a division head, and a training officer. News One. With the details, the statement from esteemed civil rights attorney Harry Daniels. Louisiana law explains that the use of neck restraint prohibition is conditional. Thanks, Louisiana. The use of chokeholds and carotid holds are prohibited except when the officer reasonably believes he or another person is at risk of great bodily harm or when deadly force is authorized. The law was updated in 2022 to reflect the above stipulation. So let's think about what we just showed you. You have the law, and I'd really like to go back to 2022 and figure out what that was a reaction to. Surely it was an overreaction. That's just a hunch, a hunch as to why the law would have been updated. Hmm. In that video, did we see? An officer reasonably believing he or another person was at risk of great bodily harm. Well, you could say yes, but the person at risk was the person who was being manhandled, right? With this carotid chokehold. Sabino's lawyers pointed out that not only has Broom worked in law enforcement for at least 12 years, but he also is a certified field training officer. Oh my goodness. He's actually training other people. He's also a homicide investigator and narcotics investigator who currently works in the capacity of an administrative supervisor. Does what we saw on that footage look like somebody's boss? Maybe it looks like a couple of bosses I had. But should it be is a question I meant to ask. The implication, of course, is that Brun, a veteran cop supervisor, certainly should have known that employing such a chokehold is illegal. Particularly after the police murder of George Floyd drew national attention to the controversial police restraint technique. I mean, either 
somebody was asleep in Louisiana law enforcement and perhaps didn't see it or what we already know. I don't care. Above the law, beyond reproach, do what you want to do. Well, this is my opinion, just at the outset here. <laughs> Babino's attorney speculated that Brun was setting the wrong example of impressionable officers who he is charged with training. If this is the kind of reckless brutality he's teaching to the younger officers, then this problem goes a lot deeper, they added. Attorney Harry Daniels is right. It's not just a Captain Obvious moment, it's because of what he's seen, what he's litigated successfully. News outlet KDN reached out to Scott Police Chief Chad Ledger, who said he has no comment on the video, and an investigation will begin today. It began the moment it happened. Okay, Chief? Should have began the moment it happened. You know, we brought you so many of these cases, and I want to hear what you all have to say too, that it just makes you think. Why bother except that victims need justice and we have to keep going to try to correct all of these wrongs and indeed a flawed system? Well, why does it keep happening? Because it's allowed to. It's allowed to happen. You know, as we see police too often showing up in this tactical gear, it's a dangerous job. We got it. You know what else is dangerous? Being black and brown in America. And I don't care all the people who reach out to me on social media and say, there's only a few of them. Why do you always talk about race? And I told someone this morning on my page, you're on, you're on the wrong, you've left, why are you on my page? At America is where you should leave that comment. That's where it belongs. My page, talk about what I want. It happens to be a lot of what's up with black and brown in America and the latest threat. And so when people show up in these tactical uniforms and start conducting carotid chokehold. I mean, look at what we're saying, folks, carotid, you know, the carotid artery, the one that like, if you cut it, like, I think you die, might die within seconds. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I wish I could have had the capacity to study medicine and the law. So I'm just giving you the layman's perspective. If you're putting something in a handbook, And you're updating something in Louisiana, where a ton of people are poor, right? A ton of people are poor, you and your friends in Mississippi. You want to update this law to say, well, let's stipulate. And when the officer reasonably believes and this and that, it all comes down to what's in somebody's head. And it changes on a whim, doesn't it? It changes on a whim. I saw fear. I saw fear in this young man's eyes. And I am grateful, as I'm sure he is, his family, that he's repped up. He's lawyered up with attorney Harry Daniel because it's a specialized thing. More attorneys are becoming versed in it, but you gotta get the right attorney who has a history, a resume, knows how to navigate and litigate this against them boys down in Louisiana. Who are going to try what they're going to try as the chief smiles and says, yeah, we'll open an investigation, no comment. If the footage would have showed something against officers, yeah, there would have been a comment. There probably would have been a press conference with the chief and others standing in their tactical gear behind him, straight faced, saying, you know what? This is exactly why we need the public's help. We need more money. We need more gear, weapons of war maybe, because it's a dangerous job and officers deserve to go home to their families. In this case though, he has no comment. There's no comment, none. You can't wait to read your comments. We wish uh, Babino Jr. the best. And of course, even though Harry Daniels, the esteemed civil rights attorney is very busy, he's always good enough to give you an update here. And so we'll get one from him soon enough, I assure you. I can't wait, I hope I'm here. I hope I'm here sitting opposite Doc when we get an update on this case. And you know what, folks? I have no doubt that attorney Harry Daniels is gonna get 
This is the system we live in. I don't want to hear about a money grab. If this happened to you, this is the system. He's going to make sure that this young man and his family are taken care of per the law. But he's also going to make sure that justice is served. However, he has to kind of pivot and get that done too. However, you can get around laws that say, well, it's whatever the cop thinks in their mind. We'll just go with that. No, not guilty. What do you mean not guilty? Not even indicted. <laughs> it takes a lot of pounding of the pavement. But like I said, this attorney, Daniels, and his colleagues have been there before. This is indisputable. Doc, let me open the show. Okay, much more to come on indisputable. And again, your comments because TYT is a community. And I love it when you all chime in. A lot of times you have these ideas, you represent viewpoints that, I mean, I think we're pretty in touch here, maybe even in love. But you represent these viewpoints that I say, wow, that's thought provoking. I hadn't even thought about that one. I had not even considered that one. And so I like that. I love it. 